I've been scratch building models for many years and I've never made something with moving parts and I think it's time to change that. Uh, so welcome to cut, transform glue and to the motorized Gatling gun build video. So every time I take a dead electronic part I save it same size and that led me to this huge collection of DC electric motors. I have them in many different shapes and sizes but for this project for the Gatling gun I decided to go with this one right here which is small but plenty strong. Now you can see in the video that it spins real fast and so on Fusion 360 I made this quick prototype right here with a gear reduction going on and with this prototype I quickly realized that it can get real wobbly. Oh and by the way to power this thing up I'm using two AA batteries and this uh, end switch right here to act like the on and off switch for the project. I went back to the drawing board and I quickly made prototype number two. This time the gun barrel holders are sitting on two tiny metal bearings and these metal bearings are sitting on this solid 4mm steel shaft. I also decided to replace these flexible plastic tubes right here for these stainless steel drinking straws right here that look much better for the final project. I removed some of its shininess with a power drill and some sandpaper and later in the project I'll change the color of the gun barrel on the stove. Then I just put everything together to test this new design and it was much more stable than the first one so I'm happy with it and I can move to the body of the Gatling gun. Now this right here is my collection of round shapes and I'm collecting them to, to create the enemy robots and I decided to use this piece right here which is actually from a security camera. And as I actually got two of these, I'm using just the front of both of them uh, to keep my pieces symmetrical. At this point I also realized that this green piece right here could be round and fit perfectly inside of the security camera, so this is what I did. I printed this new design which snaps right in place and I also made one for the back of the security camera. I also decided to keep the batteries outside of the body of the Gatling gun and so I put this DC jack right here and yeah the batteries will be kept on the body of the combat robot that comes in the future. Also right here you can see that I'm using two 3mm steel shafts to connect the front and the back of the body of the Gatling gun. Now I can finally start adding some structures to, to it and make it look interesting. I began by adding an acrylic ring to the back and then I glued this interesting grip right here right on top of that. Then came this one right here which looks amazing, also laser cut acrylic and to keep them together I'm actually using this weld bond glue. While my 3D printer is working on the middle segment for the body, I'll start actually adding some structures to the back. This white medicine flask right here looks like a good shape, but I need to add some details to it first. And I decided to go with this one right here. This is actually an abandoned piece from an older project, uh, I believe this is from the drone dog build. And as this white plastic right here is kind of tricky to glue to, I'm actually using some hot glue instead. Okay, now my 3D printer is finally done with this middle segment right here and I can add it to the main body of the Gatling gun. It is kept together with this uh, two or three millimeter steel shaft and as you can see I have two slots right there going on uh, to attach the end switch and the DC jack. The good thing about these uh, two or three millimeter steel shafts is that I can still open the body if I ever need to service it. Now let me quickly show you guys something that I've been testing, uh, see this piece right here, it has some ridges on it, I made this on the laser cutter on the maker space and that way I can break the, this axle piece right here to the exact size I need. This is just a simple idea that I had some time ago and that I decided to test in this project and it actually works very good. And I used it to create this piece right here, which will connect the main body of the Gatling gun to the medicine flask structure that goes in the back of it. Now I need to create the ammo box and for that I'll use this other uh, medicine flask right here. 
I begin by removing some features from it, like the top, I don't need it, and I'll also glue some acrylic rings, laser cut acrylic rings to the top and to the bottom of it using hot glue. Hot glue is the best glue for this type of plastic, but as you can see, it leaves a lot of residue. Then I found this beautiful convex shape right here and I'm going to glue it to the back ring. And as this is ABS on acrylic, I'm using the weld bone type of glue. But I still need to cover the hole right here in the front and for that I will look to my collection of uh, gears. Yeah, I have a huge collection of gears from the dead electronics. And I decided to chuck it to my drill press to remove the teeth. And with that, it went quickly from this to this. Now, don't worry about my finger. It is actually from another process, not from the, the drill press trick. To quickly test the proportions, I hot glued the L box to the Gatling gun and I was happy with what I saw. But then I needed to actually create an attachment point for these uh, two structures. And I did that using this uh, quarter of a circle acrylic pieces and some other random pieces I had in my collection. But this right here is the result. I added some surface detail to it and hot glued it to the body of the ammo box. This 3D printed piece goes on the body of the Gatling gun. They all go together with another M4 bow. This right here is the result and as you can see I can keep all structure pieces separated from each other that will actually make my life much easier on the painting process. And speaking of that, let's apply the first coat of primer to this project and see how things are going. This custom made piece right here will actually hide and protect the gears of the project. I'll add some griblies to it to make it look cool, a couple of metal pins to the back of it to connect uh, the piece to the body of the Gatling gun and after a while I could apply a coat of primer and test it on the body. At this point I also made these two stabilizers right here to go right next to the tip of the gun barrels. Now, I was still feeling the need to add some structures to the back of the Gatling gun and so this is what I did. I grabbed some cool griblies I had in my collection and I started kind of bashing them together to create this interesting looking uh, structure. And yeah, this right here is the result and it goes right underneath the previous piece. I believe this piece will connect to the ammo belt uh, later and speaking of that I made this uh, piece right here, it goes right on top of the ammo box uh, to, to start the ammo belt later. But now, now it's actually time to, to add some surface detail to the whole uh, thing. So I'm taking everything apart and I'm doing that. I'm, I'm freely adding pieces uh, here and there, uh, just having some fun and, and adding a flavor to, to the project. Now, even though I'm not worrying too much right here about uh, where each piece goes, uh, this is a very important part of the process. These uh, tiny surface detail will actually help telling the scale of the model, they will draw the attention of the viewer. And later after the painting and on the wash process, the, the surface detail will actually uh, be even more visible than they are right now. Now here I can show you guys why I decided to go with the end switch uh, to control the, the Gatling gun. I can add some surface detail to it and then it doesn't look like an on and off switch. It is actually a, a good choice for this project. This 3D printed green ring right here is actually a pressure ring from the drone dog project and I will use it to create a piece that will attach uh, the ammo belt uh, to the ammo box. Nothing too fancy right here, I just quickly made it and threw a coat of primer at it. Now I use this feature as the connection point and this is actually a segment from the ammo belt. I 3D printed and prepared a bunch of these pieces and they will be connected by the side using a couple of wires. I know some of you guys will remember I did something similar to this on the first combat robot uh, but instead of using the 3D printed pieces I actually used uh, some uh, laser cut acrylic ones.
And this is the motorized Gatling gun. Now, of course, it is still not completed. I still need to add a couple of things here and there, uh, but I'll do that when I make the new combat robot from the enemy side. And as you can see by comparison, uh, it is much bigger than the first one. Yeah, a very different model. Let me right here make a quick shout out for my new patrons, Marshall O, Sebastian Hiller and Rice Bennett. Welcome buddies and thank you for the support. And of course, thanks to all my Patreon and Coffee supporters. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you're new here. And as always, thanks for watching.